It's good. I'm really pleased with that one. I really like how that's turned out. Everything collected from locally to me that I use. And there is a big hole at the back, just down there. Good size hole, about that big, which is something going in it. And it is a present from my stepson. He's also got his own channel, Jackal's Den. So quickly put that back down. And we'll grab this box here. And it was for my birthday, which is on the 1st of October. Um, so I had this delivered just after. And I did have one of these um, that he got me. Uh, he did tell me what he got. And I did have a female and I was gutted when she perished due to a dodgy malt. Um, and that's why I was getting ready to revamp her enclosure, do something different, do something a bit vibrant. And um, that's why I've done that one. And he went and got me this. So let's just open this up and see what he's bought me. So there's the enclosure. I've got a label already done there, but I did want to show you that because obviously you'd see what it is. Let's open up this box. Let's get that in there. I tend to forget a few items. I just love doing unboxing videos. It's just something about unpacking. Right, and I believe it should just be the one item in here. And it is. And as you can see, it's a good size. Let's check the box. Yep, nothing else in there. Right, so bring this round. And what I had in here is a C. Lividen. It's a sub-adult adult, so it's not fully grown. But um, I did have a sub-adult female. She was so calm, so placid. And uh, I'll put an annotation up above if I can find the uh, original video that I had of her. And she would just chill out and she would sit out in the evenings and add some sort of mood lighting over the enclosure, which was like reddish and changed to purple and stuff like that. And um, she would just sit there under it and she was just so chilled. And I could just drop prey items in it and I'd never had to worry about her. Probably this one isn't going to be like that. Uh, I think this one is wild caught. She was raised from a tiny slim, so she was just chilled with me. So I've always wanted another one back. Plus because of the coloration of them as well. So let's just see if we can have a look at this. All right, catch cup ready. Because you never know where this is going to go. Hopefully it goes smooth. Let's get that round there. All right. Move that in. Hopefully, take this off, straight up and into that hole that you can see there that I've created. It just looks brilliant, like it's on a hillside. Plenty of substrate at the back. I think there's about seven inches to eight inches of substrate. But let's crack this open. This is the bit with these, you never know if it's right there at the top or is there tissue over it. Nope, she is right there, she or he. Oh, ideal. Facing backwards as well, that's actually a little bit easier for me. Right, Let's see if I can place this in. We'll get this one out. Right, nice and chilled, heads this way. Let's see what happens. Fold that up out of the way. Oh, 
why. Let's see if I can get this off. Okay, that's better if I do it this way actually. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Now, please don't run away. Very good size. needs good feeding but look it's just gonna go straight in okay, it's almost green on the legs absolutely stunning and right where it is is the dark hole that I've done so it can go down and dig and then burrow around underneath but that is absolutely stunning no threat posture <clears throat> Slightly small abdomen, but absolutely beautiful. Look at the blues. And the greens are very, very shiny. And there we go, it's gonna go down. Straight where I've dug. No, it's gonna come back up. To the water dish, or is it going to have a look around? It's normal for them to explore their enclosure, the surroundings of the entrance. Absolutely stunning. Gonna come straight out the front door, but I'm gonna leave it and see if it'll chill and go inside so I can get some feeding over the next couple of days. Look at that, it's, you can't really see, but it's feeding straight away. Look at that, I gave it a roach, just thought it entice it because it come out close to the door but um, it's got a smaller abdomen so I thought I'd just try with it it's very very chill just took it straight off me it shows you that these defensive ones they have the capabilities of doing that but they don't always go into threat pose there we go cobalt blue in rehoused and fed straight away got the prey item and it's going back into the start of burrow. Hopefully it will use that burrow. Nope, I'm gonna sit on top of the plant. <laughs> it's got a massive hole there to use, but I'm gonna get out of here in a bit and it'll be a bit darker, so hopefully it'll chill out. I've uh, got the sun coming in through the window there, so it's coming onto the plant and grass, so it gets a bit of um, UV, but uh, I think it will go down shortly. So look out for the next update of that one, but absolutely stunning species. Leave that one to eat. There we go, this is a bit of time later. It's still eating the roach, but it's actually now starting to go into the burrow that I did. What a stunning spider. Look at it, massive chalicerae. You can see the roach there still breathing. Underneath, still not dead. 
but there she goes she's going to actually use she did explore the um, enclosure and try to go behind the plant over there but then she come back after and she's now going down into the dark hole that I did for her which is what I wanted because then look at that it would look amazing when she comes out if I pan back out it would look amazing on top of that if it comes out with a little bit of webbing absolutely stunning so there we go so thanks very much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video